Afghanistan is a landlocked country dependent on agriculture and irrigation, but, but developing water infrastructure has been hindered by conflict and instability. Now, with increasing stability, major canal projects are underway to expand irrigation and strengthen the economy. Afghanistan is embarking on a major push to rehabilitate and expand its irrigation infrastructure after decades of conflict. New large-scale canal projects aim to boost agricultural productivity and rural prosperity. This video will examine examine Afghanistan's critical irrigation initiatives, from upgrades to the iconic Salang Tunnel, to the massive new Naglu Canal, to other planned undertakings. Together, these waterworks can transform the nation's economic landscape. But delivering on this promise will take tremendous skill and resources. One mega project promises to significantly expand the country's agricultural capacity through improved water access. Currently under construction by an Indian company, the Naglu Hydropower and Irrigation Canal will draw water from the Kabul River via a major new conduit. This large canal system will irrigate 75,000 hectares of land across eight provinces, including the capital Kabul. Over 300 kilometers long, Naglu Canal has a design capacity of 72 cubic meters per second. The $304 million project commenced in 2019 and will take three years to complete per the contract. By optimizing water usage, the Naglu Irrigation Canal will allow farmers to boost yields of staple crops like wheat and corn. The World Bank estimates the project could produce $700 million in net economic benefits through increased agricultural productivity. Better irrigation will directly enhance food security and exports. Construction also employs 4,000 Afghans. Afghans, with many more jobs expected as farmland expands. The canal includes hydro stations to generate power as well. Successful completion of Naglu will demonstrate how large-scale irrigation projects can uplift rural communities through the power of water. It represents a major down payment on Afghanistan's agricultural future. The country's farmers are depending on this canal to open new horizons of possibility. Beyond Naglu, Afghanistan is planning additional large irrigation works to rehabilitate damaged infrastructure. A major endeavor is the Chardara Irrigation Canal, which will irrigate over 40,000 hectares in Kunduz province. Assisted by U.S. aid, this $40 million canal is set to commence soon, pending final approvals. Given its significant economic impact, the Afghan government has termed Chardara a priority project. Another is the Kajaki Dam project, which includes expansions to reservoir storage and irrigation capacity. Situated on the Helmand River, Kajaki supplies water to farm areas through a vast network of canals and distribution structures. Refurbishing and extending this irrigation system will benefit one of Afghanistan's most productive agricultural zones. In Herat province, plans are advancing to build a new Canal 25 canal network to augment irrigation. With Italian funding, this large-scale endeavor aims to boost crop yields and incomes for thousands of farmers near Herat City. Site surveys and design work are already underway. Altogether, these planned undertakings underscore Afghanistan's focus on rehabilitating its irrigation works. The projects will restore capacity lost to past destruction while expanding water access to new communities. With sufficient irrigation reaching more fields, Afghanistan's agricultural potential can be unlocked. These upcoming canals and dams are the key to turning the country's arid expanses into fertile ground. Afghanistan's major canal and irrigation projects aim to transform the nation's agricultural capacity and rural economy. As an arid country, only 15% of Afghanistan's land is irrigated currently. This limits crop production since many areas lack reliable water access to support farming. As a result, Afghanistan imports large quantities of foods that can be grown domestically under irrigation. The new large-scale canals seek to bring much more land under sustainable irrigation. The government has set ambitious targets to expand irrigation to 45% of arable land in the coming years. Meeting these goals could increase agricultural GDP by billions annually. With consistent irrigation, farmers can achieve higher yields on staple crops like wheat, 
corn, rice, and barley. And they can diversify into higher value horticulture produce and agroforestry. Expanded irrigation unlocks new opportunities in orchards, vineyards, vegetable farming, and more. These irrigated cash crops require more labor and generate more income for rural communities. Agricultural growth will also enable the processing of crops and other agro-industry activities. For instance, grapes from irrigated vineyards can be turned into raisins, juices, and wines. This value addition creates many ancillary jobs in facility construction, packaging, distribution, and export. Growth in the broader agribusiness sector is essential to retaining economic benefits within Afghanistan's economy. Reliable irrigation additionally helps conserve water and improves climate resilience, further boosting productivity. In sum, Afghanistan is relying on irrigation advancement to drive broad-based rural development. By endpoints like income, nutrition, and sustainability, the impacts of large canals on Afghan agriculture and trade could be profound. The projects can transform subsistence farms into more profitable, dynamic enterprises. Without doubt, Afghanistan faces monumental challenges translating its bold irrigation infrastructure vision into reality on the ground. The construction of massive new canals and revamping dilapidated systems like Salang requires tremendous skill and tenacity. Insecurity and corruption threaten progress, while environmental factors limit water availability. Most importantly, the project's sustainability hinges on building strong institutions and human capital. Insecurity poses constant risks ranging from isolated attacks to outright Taliban control of project areas. Construction crews are vulnerable without adequate safeguards, and remote locations exacerbate dangers. Violence and instability could indefinitely delay completion or force abandonment halfway through. Corruption and mismanagement of funds can also cripple projects. Oversight and transparency mechanisms must be rock solid. Climate impacts further endanger the ventures. More frequent droughts and altered precipitation patterns strain Afghanistan's rivers and aquifers. Environmentally unsound practices could deplete resources faster. Projects must emphasize water efficiency along with supply expansion, and climate-resilient designs will be essential. But above all, Afghanistan must develop the expertise to manage these canal systems and reap their benefits. Operation and maintenance of large-scale irrigation relies on specialized skills ranging from hydrological monitoring to soil science to electromechanical engineering. Personnel must be trained extensively in water management best practices. Institutional capacity building is vital, so agencies can fulfill their responsibilities. Community participation also ensures water access reaches Afghanistan's small shareholder farmers equitably. Without their buy-in and input, resentment could brew, and benefits would become skewed toward elites. Stakeholder engagement provides checks and balances. Ultimately, the canal projects entail both tremendous potential and risks, but with prudent planning and resource allocation, the benefits can be realized and shared broadly. These irrigation works signify a hopeful new chapter in Afghanistan. Afghanistan's development story. But the outcome depends wholly on execution. Afghanistan's major canal ventures signify a turning point as the country rebuilds after conflict. The projects promise expanded irrigation, power, and economic possibilities. But realization depends on sound management, resources, and governance. While risks remain, success could profoundly shape Afghanistan's future. The completion of these canals and reservoirs will unleash the nation's agricultural promise and allow its lands and people to thrive. Supplying water security today sows the seeds of stability and self-sufficiency tomorrow.